find the same thing. That's it. <laughs> Say that. That's it. What is blocking you from going forward? Is it God? Is it the devil? Or is it you? <laughs> and I'm using myself. I made some bad choices in life. And it took me 20-something years to get it right. But that's what God had to deal with me about. That's my destiny. What he did, now you got to deal with yours. That's it. And God deal with me. Yeah, yeah. But you got to deal with yours. Amen. Amen. Hey, let's go on. First Peter chapter five. And I'm gonna close right here. First Peter chapter five and two. And tomorrow I'll come back with more. But I wanted to open this up. They tell you, remember I told you about that. You got two parents. It's like thirty generations. You got two parents. Them two parents got. Parent that's four, right? And them four parents got parents that's eight, and those eight parents got parents that's 16. 16 and eight is 24, eight and four is 28, and 28 and two is 30. 30 generations of sin. Do our family members you have never heard of, have never even known that Pat, that's what iniquities are. Sins that pass down from generations. And you want to know why you can't think mental illness, all kind of things. But in Christ, he said, Galatians 3.13, he said, Christ Jesus has redeemed us from the curse of the law Amen. by becoming a curse for us. Amen. Only Amen. through Christ Jesus. Amen? Amen. Amen. All right, 1 Peter chapter 5, starting at verse 5. And the word of God reads, hallelujah. Lord. Are y'all with me? Amen. Are y'all with me there? Amen. All right. 1 Peter chapter 5, starting at verse 5. And it says, Likewise, you younger, submit yourself to the elders. What I say about accountability Amen. and responsibility. Yeah, yeah. Yep. You got to learn to be accountable for your actions. And, and you want some people that's going to be real with you to help you out, not to put you down. Are you going to make mistakes? Yes, you are going to yeah, make some yeah, mistakes. Yeah. So, all right, let's go back. He said, you younger, submit yourself to the elder. Yea, all of you submit, be subjected to one another, and be clothed with humility. For God resists the proud and gives grace to the humble. So it says, humble yourself. Have you, been, have you humbled yourself? Therefore, under the mighty hands of God, that he may exalt you in due time, Cast all your cares upon him, for he cares for you. Yeah. Oh, yeah. And it says, be sober, mm -hmm. be vigilant, because your adversary, the devil, as a roaring lion walking about, seeking whom he may devour. Now, let me say to you something. The devil is not God. He can't be everywhere. Mm -hmm. The devil is on a leash. He only can go so far. That leash will hold him back. He can't go so far. Yeah. Mm -hmm. The devil is on the leash. Yeah. Yeah. But if you go in his territory, he can seek whom he may not devour. Who he wants to devour, put it that way. Let's go on. And it says, Whom resist steadfast in the faith, knowing that the same afflictions are accomplished in your brethren that are in the world. Yeah. So you ain't the only one that's going through what you're going through. Yeah. Then it says, go on. It says, But the God of all grace who has called us into eternal glory by Jesus Christ, after that you have suffered a while, make you perfect, establish, strengthen, and settle you. To him be glory and dominion forever and ever. Amen. Now, cast all your cares. What cares that you got that you holding back from God? I want to speak to you and speak to your heart for God's glory that God wants to deliver you from these roadblocks in your life. Whether it's school, whether it's your marriage, whether it's fornication, uncleanness, some of y'all dip and dab in witchcraft. Y'all don't want to talk about, I speak against that spirit in the name of Jesus. You read wrong books, looking at horoscopes and all, all that stuff is yeah. with you. You read the Bible, it talks oh, about that. Yeah. That's part of the fruits of the flesh. Yeah, yeah. If you ever read it. Yeah. Witchcraft.